my loves, welcome back to Zeke's Lunchbox. I'm really excited to talk about this artwork today. It's been on the back burner for quite some time. Back in October for, I guess, Inktober, I wanted to do my kind of version of Inktober but not really use ink. I more just wanted to have a challenge where I would draw every single day. My goal was to basically paint one of these little mini paintings a day, but as always, I'm always like, way too ambitious and I think, I guess I had paid jobs at the time as well. I can't remember quite what I was up to in October, but I do remember it being like way too ambitious and just yeah, way too much for me to handle. So I'm excited to finally be able to study this piece. Late last year, I applied for the Bondi Wall in Sydney and for those of you who haven't been there, there's like a promenade along the beach and lots of street art and graffiti and murals. And it's always been a goal of mine to paint the promenade there. And I always feel so fancy saying promenade. <laughs> promenade. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to paint the wall in Bondi so when I applied and got in I was pretty excited and it was like oh yeah I've gotten to this stage where like I don't know I get accepted to things it's really exciting um I've started buffing that wall but um that'll be in a different video so I'll talk more about that later back to this image I've really loved the concept of this like dissected plant face for quite some time. I did another artwork a couple of years ago and it's still one of my favorite pieces. It was a soft sculpture where I had this a similar concept of this like I guess a cyborg singularity inspired artwork where plants were taking over this person and they're revealing I guess this other alter ego or revealing a other sense of themselves. I don't know. Uh, I just love that sense of revealing a world belonging to somebody. I feel like these split open heads can represent so many things to people and I'd love to hear your thoughts on how this makes you feel and how you connect to this artwork. What's the story behind it? I've just really loved this concept for a while and I, um, back in October, I sketched out a bunch of illustrations that kind of played around with the same concept. I just really love that idea of decay and dissection and singularity. There's something really sci-fi about it and it's almost romantic in a way where it's like, I don't know, this really beautiful clash of technology and organisms coming together and plants almost rebelling against the world, I guess. I don't know. I could ramble on and, you know, think of so many other concepts that can go along with this piece, but yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So this artwork was heavily inspired by Eon Flux and Ghost in the Shell. Uh, for me, I just always really loved those female characters and they had so much complexity with them and a vulnerability. And not only aesthetically did it inspire me, but I think the tone of those female characters really inspired me to create this artwork. And yeah, I'm excited to explore a couple more versions of this concept. I feel like I can do this like dissected split head taken over by plants and other bits and bobs. I feel like I can do that concept a couple more times before I'm like, I've really gotten it out of my system. So I'm excited to, to explore that a little bit further. Yeah, I'm happy and excited to pop this on a wall. I'm gonna be making a lot more of these really teeny tiny little mini paintings. And I think a lot of like split open fauna faces yeah, stay tuned with those and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.